Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today I am looking at the 1991 Merlin WWF Classic cards. Now I got these online recently. Uh, they're a set I've been looking for for a while. Now this isn't the full set here. I think this is around 87 cards. Um, I think I paid something like £12 uh, for all of them. So really good deal um the blues blue cards the, the the classic cards are often getting harder to find blue ones are most common though so i was able to to get these obviously for for quite a decent price so thought i'd take you through the eight seven cards that i got recently uh see what we've got uh within these and just see how these differ from the tops uh slam attacks 2021 cards now people don't know uh, tops is actually merlin uh tops bought merlin um a few years ago uh, quite a few years ago now and they use the merlin name for well and then they turned it into top so they are actually the same uh, company although merlin was owned uh, obviously separately back when these cards were made so quite interesting to see how different these cards are to the ones in 2021 so here we are here's our bundle of cards so i'm just going to move them across to the side here and obviously you can see the first one here the first one we've got is earthquake uh, a fantastic wrestler fantastic big man had a great feud with uh, hulk hogan and part of the tag team natural disasters now in here you see you've got a, an action shot now some of the cards obviously they are a little worn they are very very old uh they're over 30 they're nearly 30 years old some of these cards so they are very warm but what i like about these is i love the, the the logo there at the top i like the red earthquake down the side i think it's a nice picture for an action shot but the most important thing about these is the back now what i like about the back is this you've got the turnbuckles you've got the ropes here uh, that go round and then you've got facts about the wrestler here you've got you know all this stuff on here which i think is really really cool you've got weight where they're from the birthday uh, the trademark hold what they're known for and their favorite quote now this is something i'd love to see tops in 2021 bring back uh bring back these have something on the back of the cards because the back of the cards on samtex 2021 uh, just all the same. There's nothing on the back of them at all. This I thought was really nice. I used to love this when I was a kid because uh, I just thought it was really cool. And you can see down here, if I bring it up, uh, you can see there's actually a space for autographs as well. So I suppose if you took this uh, to get it signed by a wrestler, you could actually, the wrestler could actually sign it there, uh, which is really cool. And you can just see down there, 1991, uh, these are made. So really, really cool, these. And I really, really like these cards. So I'm just going to go through a few of them. And uh, we're going to see what we get. Actually, I'll go through all of them, and I'll just show you what we've got. So we've got a Big Boss Man. Fantastic uh, wrestler. Love the Big Boss Man. And again, at the back there, look, their logo. And a bit about them. Just really, really cool. I love the attention to detail on these cards. And one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Fantastic. And again, on the back there, look at that, the Hot Rod logo. And a bit about them. So... Like I said, I just I just like this. I just thought these were, were, were really, really cool back in the day. And there was some white ones, which are really, really difficult to help get hold of. They have, like, the white border um, around uh, around them, uh, the 1991 ones. And I do actually have some 1990 sealed in the pack from Steve from the Toy Hunter in America, coming very, very soon. So I will do a video on those coming up, because uh, that'll be very, very cool. Because uh, I think what I'll do is I'll actually open those. They're in a plastic uh, packaging. So I will actually open those, and we'll have a look at those as well. There's the back of a Legion of Doom card. There's that there for you to have a, have a look at. There we go. And we've got another Earthquake one here. So I won't bother showing you the back, I don't think, because I think the back is the same as the one before. I don't think the details are very different. There we are. And then the Mountie. <laughs> Always gets his man. There we go. The Mountie. And then no logo on the back here for the Mountie, which is quite interesting. So they didn't have a Mountie logo there. Uh, one of uh, the most fantastic managers in WWE, Slick. Yes, yeah, Slick. That's tremendous. We do like Slick. And uh, there you go. Look, he's got a logo on the back of his. So there's Slick's logo on the back there. And then we have Davy Boy Smith. Now he's called Davy Boy Smith on these cards, not the British Bulldog, which I just thought was quite interesting. Um, don't know why that is. They just called him Davy Boy Smith. So quite interesting. And also on the back here, um, I'm just looking actually, that doesn't have anything on the back about them at all. It's like a, it's a checklist or something. It's, I think, is it, is it a checklist card? I'm not sure. On the back, it's just got, no info, no logos. That's quite interesting. I don't know why 
why that is. I'm not quite sure why why that one's like that. But uh, Super Ride Jimmy Sucker onto our next one. And on the back again, you see the the lovely logo there. I just like I said, I love I love these old logos. They just bring me back to my childhood. I love that, love looking at those. Uh, the Million Dollar Man, who's been on NXT recently. There we are, stomping the Big Boss Man. And then on the back, there you are, look, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase logo. Absolutely fantastic. Now we have a, a, a fantastic uh, classic wrestler, the Ultimate Warrior. Looking there, absolutely incredible. And again, the Warrior with the logo. Very, very cool. One of my favourites of all time, another one. Mr. Perfect, there he is. Look at that. And again, Mr. Perfect logo, classic Mr. Perfect logo on the back there. Lovely. I love the branding they had for WWE back then. Everybody had unique logos and everything was different. The Rockers, the legendary tag team, the Rockers, Shawn Michaels and Marty Janetti, just before they broke up. And the Rockers logo there on the back. Lovely card that. Love the Rockers. And another Legion of Doom. So there was a few um, uh, cards, but it looks for it. Uh, Legion of Doom, but it's different, uh, different pictures. So there's a few that are the same. Here's the Barbarian. There he is, and Barbarian's logo on the back there. There we are. And we've got, actually got a double in here. We've got another Slick. So we've got another Slick. I've shown you that already, so I won't go on him too long. And here's, another, so here's the other Barbarian. So we've just seen the first Barbarian, and here's another one there. So there's another Barbarian, but the back is the same. And here we have a different Mountie. It's a portrait photo of the Mountie. There we go. And then we've got Jimmy Snooker, who, again, we've seen already. Just a different picture. And here we have Tugboat, who was later to become Typhoon and be in the natural disasters alongside Earthquake, who we saw earlier. And there's a logo there. Now, that isn't a very good logo at all. Um, I don't like that a lot, but I suppose it fits his character. But there's a Tugboat logo. Uh, Coco Beware with Frankie the Parrot. And if we turn it over, love to see this is cool. This logo is cool. Lovely that Coco Beware logo. Another one of Mr. Perfect. There we go. And a big one here, Hulk Hogan. So our first Hulk Hogan card, let's turn him over. And just Hulk Hogan in red there. Just big, bold letters, Hulk Hogan. And then on to next, Virgil. There we are, there's Virgil. We'll flip him over. And even Virgil's got a logo there, look. This is when he was still a manager for Ted DiBiase. So there we go. Uh, talking of Ted DiBiase, here he is again, delivering a pile driver. Fantastic. So I won't show you the back because we've seen them already. Uh, here we are, Jake the Snake Roberts. Let's have a look at the back of that. See, look at this logo here. It's on the side, actually. So it's placement slightly different. It's over the side here. And Jake the Snake. Then we have General Adnan, <laughs> who comes to the ring with Sergeant Slaughter. There we are, just a text logo for him. Nothing too special on his. Um, and then we've got Virgil. This is Virgil out of his gear. So this, I think this might have been after he split. Or might have been actually before he split. Again, back's the same um, with DiBiase. Uh, Legion of Doom. Again, different pose. There we go. Then we've got Ricky the Dragon Steamboats. This is called Ricky the Dragon in his dragon costume. And then again, this one, again, I think it's a checklist card because uh, a bit like Dave Boy Smith earlier, uh, it's got more numbers and things on it. So I think that is another, another checklist card. There we go. So we've got another different Ultimate Warrior here, different celebration here. There's Ultimate Warrior. And again, same logo on the, on the back there. Uh, now we've got Sergeant Slaughter and General Adnan together, and this card's in different orientation. We'll just send it over, and there's the Sergeant Slaughter logo. There we go. Then next are the Bushwhackers. Who didn't love the Bushwhackers? There we are, and there's the logo. And again, I just I just like these cards, because they just bring me so much nostalgia, and I love the little bit of info on the back and telling you who the characters are and... You know, I used to look at these cards when I was a kid and, and learn so much from them because there was no internet uh, back then either. So I suppose that's a bit more of the uh, nostalgia with all of this. Um, it's looking back and seeing, um, you know, getting the information. This is this is a, a way of getting information, like WWF annuals, things like that. And uh, oh, look at this. One of the best managers of all time, Mr. Fuji. That's tremendous. Let's have a look at the back of him here. There we are with the red J in the middle. That is fantastic. Loving that Mr. Fuji card. And then another one, Hulk Hogan, but we've got an action shot this time. And then we've got first one here, The Undertaker. There we are, first one, The Undertaker in this group against Tugboat. Now, if we turn this over, The Undertaker logo look with a casket. Very cool. 
And like I say, these were just really cool. You could get, get information from them and, you know, find out more about the, your favourite superstars. They were just just really, really cool. And uh, Jimmy Hart, fantastic. Got to love Jimmy. One of the greatest managers of all time. And even him, look, it's got a logo there similar to Tugboat. They kind of replaced it with a megaphone, but it looks cool. It looks cool. There we go. Oh, the Texas Tornado. Fantastic. We love Kerry Von Eric. Uh, gone way, way, way too soon, sadly. Um, and a lovely logo on the back there with him. And then another one of Hulk Hogan. So I went to show you the back of him. We've seen that one already. And again, same thing with Earthquake. It's a sideways card. We've seen the back of Earthquake, but a different card for him. Uh, Roddy Roddy Piper. That is a portrait photo. There we go. This is a portrait photo. We've we've also seen one of him already, but look at that. Rick and Dragon Steamboat. Look at that card. That's incredible. It's him blowing fire. That looks absolutely insane. A portrait photo here. This is uh, this is one of my favourites, actually, looking at this. Mr. Perfect. World wrestler. Um, what an incredible talent. Uh, should have been a world champion. Just insane. If, you want to, if you're a 90s kid like me, you want to be Mr. Perfect. Him or Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, British Bulldog. The Intercontinental title group um, was, was just incredible. I mean, Hogan was at the top at the time, but, but these guys, they, they were good. They were bloody good. Um, and the Intercontinental title was just, it was so hot. They made it so hot. It was incredible. Uh, and then we've got uh, Jimmy Sucker again. There we are, action shot. And then we've got uh, Texas Tornado here with an action shot as well. Then we've got the Rockers, uh, an action shot photo there. Oh, and this is our first one of him, uh, which I haven't seen yet. There's, there's a Macho Man Manny Savage. Fantastic. It's hand raised in victory. And there's the logo on the back and the info on the back. If you want to read that, there we go. And then an action shot, Mr. Fuji, with the powder. That's really cool. I like that. I think this is another double. I think we've seen this Jake already. I'm not sure, but uh, may not have. Um, I know we've seen AJ card already, so I may not, have, but there we go. Um, Legion of Doom, another one of them. Uh, Big Boss Man, another card of his. There we go. Oh, and then one we haven't seen so far, Power and Glory. Look at that. Paul Emma and Hercules, Power and Glory. What a tag team. There we go, Power and Glory. Then we've got uh, Mr. Perfect, the Perfect Plex action shot. And then we've got another one of Mr. Perfect. It's a different one. So there's about four different cards here, I think, for Mr. Perfect. So that's really cool. Um, so there's lots of different cards. Uh, Big Boss Man, again, a different card designed for him. A Texas Tornado, again, another different card for him. And we have a third different card for him. So there seems to be multiple cards in this. I've got to research these and, uh, and see. I think there was like maybe multiples of the same one, a bit like the WCW ones I did. If you haven't checked that out, go back and have a look. Um, I got all the 1991 WCW cards. Um, so that will be uh, on the channel. So do check that out. Million Dollar Man, we've seen that already. So that's a double in one of these, but that's fine. Um, the Model Wick Martel. Now, there's one we haven't seen so far. The Model Wick Martel with the Boston Crab. And then, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Like the sunglasses, the model. Lovely logo. Love that. Uh, here's Sergeant Sorter. That's one of him. There. There we go. Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Then we've got Ricky Dragon Steampoke, again in a, in a different pose. Oh, and here's one we haven't seen so far, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Love Hacksaw, what a wrestler, what a guy. Um, he actually came over, we worked with him a couple of years ago. Uh, incredible, incredible guy, and such a lovely human being. What a lovely guy Hacksaw is. Uh, we've got the same one, we've got another double, General Adnan again. I have had a few doubles in here, I've had three or four doubles, I think. So, a bit of a shame, I think the 87 is probably actually about 80, uh, so it's a bit of a shame. Barbarian, but that's a different one, so that's really cool. And then we've got Legion of Doom, that's a different one there again. Then we've got Earthquake, that is another different one again. So, yeah, definitely multiples, lots of multiples. Same person, another different one of the Ultimate Warrior there. Then we've got another different one of Mr. Perfect. So there's like five of Mr. Perfect, I think, I've got in this, which is quite cool. Uh, another different one here of Ted DiBiase. That's really cool. There we go. Uh, a different one here of Power and Glory. Then coming out, their entrance. Nice little card there. Big Boss Man getting his hand raised in victory. Then we've got Earthquake stuffing somebody into the corner. There we go. Hulk Hogan. There. Now, this is a double. We did see this earlier. I have got another double, so I think it is about 80 cards. If there's 87 in here, I think at least seven are doubles because we've already got that one. We have seen that already. Um, Sensational Queen Sherry. There's one we haven't seen so far. Let's turn that around. Again, Sensational Sherry. She has her own logo there. Again, absolutely fantastic. Another one of Earthquake. 
There we are. A different one of Sensational Sherry. There we go. A different version of the Macho Man Randy Savage. There we go. And another different version. This one I love. This one's very nice. The elbow drop from the top. Look at that. And that's actually Macho King. Uh, so big pun. The one before was Macho King as well. So that's Macho King. And actually, that is Macho King as well. It's important to note the, uh, the Macho King uh, on those. So that's really cool because he went from he went from Macho Man to Macho King for a while. Uh, another duplicate, unfortunately, Hulk Hogan. We have had that one already. Um, so yeah, I definitely think we're around about the 80 mark with these. And Earthquake is our final card. And that is a different one to what we've had. So that's actually all in all. It's not too bad. We've had a few doubles in here, um, which is a bit of a shame. But actually, the whole bundle there, like I said, I think got 87 altogether. I think there's about seven doubles, something like that. So actually, all in all, um, not not too bad. And I think nice just to go back and have a look at these, um, you know, go through... Um, and just have a look because it's quite nice to uh, to reminisce to look back on these. And like I say, I just love the I love the old card designs. I just love the way it's it's done and and what they do. That I just think they're absolutely lovely. So really really nice to pick these up. These will go into a binder soon, uh, along with some some other cards that I'm going to uh, show you soon. As I said, the aforementioned 1990 full set of a uh, full set of 1990 cards, which will be coming to the channel very soon. So if you're interested in classic cards, do keep an eye out because I will be opening those up. They are sealed, but they will be opened and they will be put into an album. So it'd be very, very cool to look at those. And uh, thank you for joining me for these today. It's just been nice to have a stroll through memory lane, have a look at these cards and uh, and see what they're like. So please keep tuned because we've got more Sam Attacks coming, we've got more, more classic cards coming. There will be more things and uh, more stuff coming to the channel soon. Can keep your eyes peeled. Hit the uh, like button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you all again very, very soon.